What's good with you, everybody? Today it's going to be a long day, you know, registering my scooter and all. So let's get it. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Yeah, so today I'm going to go register my scooter. I have uh, like, what, seven days before my registration is expired, maybe less. I've been procrastinating, you know, doing me while y'all do you. Uh, but actually first I have to get my scooter inspected before I can get it registered. So that's what I'll be talking about today. But before I get directly into that topic, oh no, camera. But before I get directly into that topic, uh, I'll tell you guys where I'm going. So I'm heading to the uh, post office <laughs> to uh, ship out you guys' orders. You guys are, you're number one. You're number one. Thank you for everybody who visited my shop. And why are you just sitting at the red light? Visit my shop and, uh, you know, bought some of my merchandise. Ew. That's what it is. It's merchandise, right? Ew. I have merchandise? Ew. Merchandise. <laughs> Don't you do it. Yes. Acknowledge me. I like that color. Oh, come on in hot. But yeah, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about is uh, I announced recently that I have ramen on wheels stickers, baby. Uh, they're available for you to purchase. A lot of you guys already purchased them already. Uh, so <laughs> thumbs up. Thank you for that. Uh, and uh, if you guys who haven't known about this want to go in and get you one, go get you one for I'm all out. So yeah, I'm going to go deliver some of you guys' uh, or mail off some of you guys' things that you bought. The reason why I say things, you can go ahead and go. But uh, yeah, uh, the reason why I say things because I don't just sell stickers. I also sell my handmade keychains or key lanyards and stuff. And you guys have bought that too. So thumbs up for that as well. Thank you for everybody who is like, yeah, support Ramen on Wheels. Oh, dang. How you beat me, truck? How did you beat me? You did that. You did that, orange orange truck. That I was gonna be the one to like... Isn't that illegal to like cut through parking lots to get past like red lights and stuff? I did that. Again, because I'm a rebel. Because uh, I'm a rebel. All this construction. Any hoodle doodle poodle. Like I said, I'm on the way to the post of my office. Post of my office? Yes, post of my office. What's going on? Oh, my knee. Uh, here's the thing though. I'm also going to post office to pick up an item. This is an item that I purchased uh, for you guys or, or for this channel. Because I'm going to be doing another episode of Pimp Out My Scooter. Of course, that's not what I'm calling it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like change the look on the scooter again. And I'm excited about that. And I'm curious to see how that turns out. However, the reason I'm talking about this part right here is because one, it relates to the channel. And for two, because I'm frustrated and mad that I even have to go pick it up. Why are you mad, Shauna? Because I purchased that thing and it was like, Okay, deliver it to my house, son. That's what I paid shipping for, right? Then, I just so happened. The day it was supposed to be delivered, I was like, I didn't get it. Okay, maybe it was just delayed because it happens sometimes. So, I was like, let me check that shipping, son. So, I checked the shipping and I'm like, why does it say held at post office at customer's request? Um, wait, am I the customer? Yes, I'm the customer. Wait, did I call the post office and say hold my package? No, no, I didn't. So what's the deal with that? What's the deal with that? Then no one even informed me that it was being held. And you know, after if, if it says at the post office too long, they uh, ship it back to sender. 
So not only was I not informed that they were held my package, but I wasn't the one who told them to hold the package. So yeah, my mail lady, yes, it's the lady. She sucks because uh, not only that, okay, here's the thing. Like I get mail from other people that don't live with me, like random people, I guess people who lived at the house before me. So I'm like, I've talked to her, I'm like, hey, hi um if you don't see shauna on the mail can you not put it in my box because these people get ridiculous amounts of mail right and it's illegal for me to open it right it's not mine and some of it i do be like yo what's inside this what's inside this but it ain't mine so i'm not gonna open it and i'm like yo don't put these people mail in my mailbox it ain't mine uh because uh, they have more mail in the mailbox than I do. I'm going to give you guys perspective on this. For every one piece of mail in the mailbox for me, there's about 11 in there for them. No joke. No kidding. So my mailbox be just packed with mail. And I'm like, do these people not want their mail? Have they not put in a change of mail address? So what's the deal with that? So she refuses to not put their mail in my mailbox. Shauna, if you see Shauna, put it in. If it's not Shauna, uh, keep it with you and take it back to the post office or whatever. So eventually I got to the point where I was just like, uh, okay. And then when I do put it in the mailbox for her to return, she doesn't take it out. She just puts more mail in there. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Be that good Samaritan and every weekend go return mail to the mail post office for them to what? Remail it back to me? I don't think so. So apparently those people don't want their mail and I'm not their personal mail carrier. So I just trash it. Yes. Is that illegal? Possibly. I don't know. Most likely. I don't care. It's not mine. It's not my responsibility. So it just goes in the trash. Yeah, and the reason my mail lady sucks because she refuses to acknowledge only putting my mail in there and no one else's. And now she deliberately keeps my package at the post office for me to have to go pick up instead of delivering it. So that's why she sucks. Okay. I just realized I didn't talk on the registration part. Eh. I'll do that when I get out. I'll do it when I get out. Bye. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Nope. Nope. I just realized. Yeah. I'm. Oh, no. I got to pick up my mail. Dang it. I'm just saying, I'm just supposed to drop y'all mail into like the little side thing or y'all packages like mail out. This is going to be a long vlog. I'm not cutting this short. Dang, that line is so long. Yeah. Uh, but I got to pick up a stupid package. Dang, this is. Oh, this is. Oh, this is going to be a long day. Okay. See you guys. See you guys when I get inside. Bye was good guys i should not be saying that as if i'm just now entering into this vlog because uh, i'm actually halfway into this vlog this is the kind of stuff that irks my nerves <sighs> not nerves but nerves i can't even say it right because that's how frustrating this situation is uh, so i go in to pick up the, the little package <laughs> that uh, apparently I requested to be held at the post office without my knowledge. And guess what he says? Oh, ma'am, oh, uh, uh, it's not here. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, maybe, oh, uh, maybe she uh, picked it up and uh, brought it back to your house. Um, I'm like, what? I'm looking at the tracking information right now. It's saying it's currently still head, held here. It's not in route, ready to be delivered on its way to be delivered it says it's here um uh so what you do is uh see if it comes today and if it doesn't um come back to us bruh what does coming back to you gonna do you're just gonna say the same thing well it wasn't delivered uh well we still don't have it this kind of stuff is balls because if you think about it it's not necessarily the people I bought it from fault if it gets lost, right? So I don't want to like, hey, I didn't get the package because, well, yeah, I didn't get it, but it's not their fault that I didn't get it. 
at the same time. I still didn't get it. I paid money for it. And I didn't get it. So what to do? What to do? Any hoodle doodle poodle. I knew I should have bought it from somebody else. Uh, here's the thing. I could have bought it for cheaper, but it would have took longer to get it. So I decided to buy it at not as cheap in order to get it quicker. And that bit me in the biscuits as well. So lame. Any hoodle doodle little poodle little little little. Uh, we're going like 10 minutes in on just postal stuff. <laughs> I'm going postal on postal. Ah! Yep, that's me. But uh, yeah, the reason you were supposed to be clicking on this video is about registration. So yeah, I'm going to go get my scooter inspected. Here's the three things you need, just to be quick. The three things you need in order to register your vehicle. Insurance. Wait. Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. You need to, uh, or to not register scooter, but to be, oh, see, can I make that light? It's so far away. Go, 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 go. Maybe I'm doing like 60 miles an hour. There might be police around. Let me slow it down. Should I get over? I should get over. Don't you do it. Don't. Good boy. But, uh, the things you need to be legally able to just ride your scooter freely out there is uh, you need to get your scooter inspected. You need to get your scooter to be insured. You need to have your scooter insured and you need to just actually go and register it. That's the three things to be street legal in these parts here in Texas, at least most states. The pricing on insurance, inspection, and registration. Let's go. Ooh, that dude is bow-legged. Woo, that is some intenseness. Okay, insurance gonna cost you on a scooter in a bar park of a hundred bucks. Inspection, it should cost you no more than seven dollars. Yeah, because on a car it's like fifty. Yeah, and then in uh, uh, registration, registration. Here's the form that they sent me to renew my registration. Can you see that? Registration is gonna cost me fifty-four dollars. How much did I pay for my car? I want to say it was a hundred and something. But yeah, it's gonna cost you cost me fifty something bucks to get my my stuff registered. I'm gonna. Ooh, I want to get over. Let's get over. Can I still make a right turn in this lane, or is this a street? Was I, what was I thinking, Shauna? We gotta go right. Let's go right. Oh okay, yeah, that's an inspection place right there. No, that isn't the one. Here's the thing, yeah, that is a inspection place, but here's the thing, you can't just go to any inspection pl place to get your uh, scooter inspected. You have, dang, I think that was the one. Yeah, no, it wasn't. You have to go to ones that specialize or actually do motorcycles. If you see on my registration form, it says make, no, it says year 2018. It says uh, make, S-A-N-Y, which stands for San Yang, San Yang, which is the name of the company who makes land scooters or, well, technically, yeah, well, land scooters, San Yang also makes Sims because they're like a, a brother company or just like a mini company. I gotta make a ride. Yep. Inspection. Coming in hot. Okay. Oh, don't be close. Oh, don't be close. Wait, where is this place? I could have went, but I didn't. Should have, could have, would have, but I didn't. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Uh, uh. Okay. Where should I park? I'm going to just park right in there for it. So, yeah, I'm here at the inspection place. So, it costs seven bucks. Oh, and then the model. Okay, it says 2018 year uh, San Y or for San Yang for make. And then body style is MC. You guys know what that MC stands for? 
oh i haven't been paying attention to this camera at all the mc stands for motorcycle motorcycle so for all you be like yo you need to get yourself a real bike i never get that but i'm pretty sure dudes get that on motorcycles or on scooter yo the state my state classifies this as a motorcycle i don't but they do so in your face i don't know i would think they would classify it as a, a md md stands for moped you think they would but they only put md on i guess maybe 50 cc scooters which is funny because you don't have to register a 50 cc scooter so i don't understand i'm lost at words maybe in some states you do have to uh verify uh register a 50 cc scooter and that's why they would give you the md class yeah because yeah okay i'm gonna go inside and see what this what's up with you S Habla Espanol. Oh man, hopefully this don't take forever. Because after this, I have to go and get it registered. You know what? Uh, I might just take the rink. If you don't know what the rink is, it's the Sentra, my little Sentra. Because driving around town on this little thing might take me forever. And not just driving around, but also talking to you guys. I love it. I really do. But. A girl got things to do today, and this is taking a nice little bit, a nice little chunk out of my time. Oh, snap, I almost left that camera on now. Oh, good thing I came back to ramble and complain some more. Okay. Uh, this is Salon Vlog, your girl, a.k.a. Shauna and Ramen, a.k.a. Hot Stuff and the Romobile, is out of here. Yeah, we're out. Bye.